What's your favorite poverty meal that you still eat regardless of where you are financially? Grew up poor, but my mom sure knew how to stretch a dollar. She would make steak fingers out of the cheapest cuts she could find. Tenderize. Fry them up make gravy out of the drippings and serve with mashed potatoes. The whole meal probably cost less than 5 bucks in 70s dollars. And I'm telling you nothing tasted better. I made it for my kids when they were growing up and they still ask me for it sometimes. She would be 94 today. Love you miss you mom. Bowl of cereal. I'm Mexican. For us, it's usually quesadillas without meat. Rice and black beans as the sides. It's on a shingle. Sausage gravy served over toast. Boiled potatoes and butter don't care if I'm rich or poor. That is my go-to snack. Dal. Aside from turmeric you can buy all the ingredients for less than to a pound. Ghetto maggots where make some pasta and add in whatever you can find in the fridge or cabinets. Cheese. Lunch meat. Spam. Spices. Etc. No two meals were ever the same. We used to eat squash and eggs growing up. Grew the squash and eggs are cheap enough. Or trade with the neighbors. You just cut the squash into thin round and cook in a pan with a little oil until they are just soft. Scramble the eggs with the squash. Add a bunch of pepper. Some salt. Sometimes we ate it over noodles or rice. Oven baked potatoes with salt and margarine. Cheap ingredients found in almost every home and easy to make. Also, the starch in potatoes makes you feel full for pretty long. Soup boiled down with rice to bulk it up. Egg drop soup. 1 quart chicken stock. 1 tbsp soy sauce. 1 tbsp cornstarch. 1 inch grated ginger. Whisk in 2 eggs. Green onion sprinkled. Peanut butter sandwich. Macaroni and cheese. I used to eat the boxed mac and cheese with that yellow powder, but now I make my own using a very basic recipe. Stew. There could be anything in there, but it's still delicious. Steamed white rice. Cracker or egg in it, while it's scorching hot. Stir aggressively and dash with soy sauce. If I have some. Some roasted seaweed and that shiz. Super cheap breakfast, but oh man is it filling slash delicious. Edit. Thanks for all the recommendations, everyone. Sesame oil. Yum pickled plum. Furic cake rice seasoning. Spam. And cabbage are all on my list of ingredients to mix and match. To answer this as it's getting asked quite a bit. I'm not Asian. I'm white. I do very much enjoy cooking. Especially Southeast Asian dishes. If you have recipes you'd like to share for a frugal home cook who enjoys SE Asian cooking please do so. Beans and rice. Saltine crackers with cheese melted on top. Grilled cheese sandwich. Edit. Added ed to the grill. Smashed potatoes with cheese. Was once my favorite poverty meal and now some kind of Salford lol. Hot dogs and baked beans. Butter noodles. Ramen. Toast. If you have butter or something to slap on top even better. But a few pieces of toast usually satisfies my hunger for a decent amount of time. Fried eggs with fried potatoes. Peanut butter and sliced banana on toast. Now that I'm better off financially, I'll add real honey and ground cinnamon, because I'm a fan seeps now. I still regularly eat my struggle nachos, tortilla chips with slices of American cheese on top and microwaved. Now that I can afford it, I'll throw taco meat on top every now and again but still very much enjoy just the chips and cheese. Big pile of scrambled eggs. Cream of mushroom soup and rice. I had a PB&J recently, and felt like ups fool. Why did I stop eating these, when I became an adult? Society lead me to believe this was the way. It is not. Been having PB&J a couple nights a week since. I refuse to let society's unenlightened views dictate my dinner choices. PB&J is a top tier dish for any occasion. Pancakes. Cheap to make and filling. Can be eaten with whatever is in your fridge. Quesadillas with hot sauce, if there is any. Edit. I think a lot of people have different ideas of what a quesadilla is. My version is strictly a single tortilla with whatever cheese I have lying around usually dollar packs of singles. That means no meat, beans, lettuce, tomato, etc. And I definitely don't use a foreman to make mine. Cinnamon sugar toast. Toast with a fried egg for breakfast. Been eating that for probably 6 years now and still look forward to it every morning. Came for my broke ass recipe planner. 
Edit. You guys are amazing. Didn't expect the huge response and now I literally have a plethora of great cheap meals. Thing called Gup. It's something my father came up with when he was super poor. After leaving the army in the 80s, when the economy was ps, And it's now like a staple in our family. It's like a stroganoff or something I guess. The recipe is one can of cheap cream of mushroom soup. One of those 80 cent things of sour cream. The empty soup can full of milk. A dash of one steak sauce. Seasoning and cheap ground beef over noodles. Costs just a couple bucks to make, and feeds an entire family of four. Editing to add the full recipe. I use Goya seasonal, and I generally put it over farfel noodles, but for Tuxini works really well though. So the general recipe I follow, is as follows brown ground meat with salt and pepper with a dash of Worcestershire sauce once that's browned add in a can of cream of mushroom and a duck huge dollop of sour cream. Fill the fan with milk, and add that too. Then some more Worcestershire sauce, some A1, and like a tablespoon of your favorite mustard. Season to taste with Italian seasoning. Garlic powder, onion powder and whatever else you think sounds good. Serve over noodles. I also suggest putting some parmesan cheese over it when you eat it cause it's good. Baked beans on toast with grated cheese. Plain rice, a fried egg and soy sauce. 1. Lentil stew. 2. Boiled potatoes with salt and a couple of slices of herring. 3. Cabbage soup and crackers. 4. Tea and toast. 5. Steamed rice with fura cake. Mexi Mac. Cook a pound of ground beef with a packet of taco seasoning. Make a box of Kraft Mac and cheese. Mix together. Also, that's your salt quota for the week. Grilled cheese sandwich. Grilled cheese can be cheap or gourmet. If you're making a grilled cheese at home it isn't going to cost much. A gas station slushy mixed with gas station wine. Poor man's dye curry. Edit. OMG. Thank you for the award. My mom's chili makes like 10 meals from $11. It gives you crazy diarrhea if you aren't super regular digestively. But goddamn it I love it so much. Can of sweet corn. Can of rotel chilies and tomatoes mixed together. Fried egg with rice. Cinnamon toast. Just bread. Butter. Cinnamon and sugar mixed together. Also, I love ramen. Edit. Thank you for my first award. Stranger really was not expecting this comment to blow up. Apparently you'll love your cinnamon toast and ramen. Uh, I mean instant noodles for all your nitpickers and the thread lol. Second edit. I've always referred to margarine as butter. So when I say butter, I mean margarine. You're really on it picking the mayo. Pizza in Italy was originally only eaten by poor people who couldn't afford proper meals. And so they use the basics of flour tomatoes and other cheap items to come up with pizza. However instead of the meat and other things on modern pizza, the basic vegetables make the pizza just as tasty and I always enjoy eating it. Piece of bread with butter, cinnamon, and sugar broiled in oven until just toasted. Still my favorite late night snack. Oatmeal with banana and peanut butter. Sleep. Breakfast food. Eggs and potatoes for life. There's a South Indian dish called kanji, which is pretty much just rice put in water and cooked for a really long time. Sort of like rice porridge. Then you put different food items and curries inside for flavor. I still make it all the time, especially when I'm sick. Ramen noodles. Literally just a plain slice of white bread right out of the bag. Indomie, that tastes like heaven. Frozen Costco pizza. You can get 5 pizzas for 10. A whole pizza is enough to feed a person for a day. Rice, beans, homemade cornbread. Add a little salsa to the rice and a bit of finely chopped onion to the beans and that's luxury. And delicious. Real butter on the cornbread, of course. And a plus for putting on some homemade apple butter. So many. I love poverty meals. Spaghetti with thick sauce. Beans and rice. Shepherd's pie. Stew. Beef stew or biggest polish hunting stew I 100% recommend. Chicken noodle soup. Fried egg with rice and beans. I was a missionary in Brazil for a few years, and when I would eat at people's homes they would apologize for that being the only thing they could afford. I could not convince them that it was one of my favorite meals. Lentils. Great cheap protein, and can be used so many ways. Lentils with curry, and whatever cheap veggies around. Usually spinach or cauliflower. Also a baked plantain for a super cheap and filling snack. Instant ramen. 
probably because I grew up with it, but I actually kind of prefer instant over some restaurant ramen. Eggs with cheese. Slightly scrambled. English muffin pizza. A jar of pasta sauce. English muffins. Mozzarella and toppings of your choice. Fresh produce is dirt cheap. The pasta sauce is the most expensive part, and if you make it, and the English muffins at home, each mini pizza is like 30 cents. Edit. So, I need to call out my privilege here. I grew up broke, but I grew up adjacent to an affluent white neighborhood. Produce isn't dirt cheap or even available everywhere, but it should be. Yellow pea soup. 500g yellow peas. Soak overnight. One onion. Half. Boil together until peas start to fall apart. Add salt. Thyme and marjoram. Enjoy with mustard. About one buck will give you ten servings. And gas. But it's one of my all time favorite meals. Potato soup. We usually had it with veggies that were starting to go bad. And if we had any, we'd toss bacon in there. My mom makes it pretty well. But my late great grandfather made the best. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. When I don't feel like cooking, I just eat two of those bad boys, and I'm perfectly fine for the evening. Campbell's tomato soup and crackers or a grilled cheese. Velveeta. Made a huge comeback in my house at the beginning of pandemic, when we were scared, unemployed, and feeling sorry for ourselves. Honestly? Spaghettius. They remind me of my grandpa. Miss you grandpa Joe. Kraft mac and cheese. I'm a chef. I own a restaurant. I've eaten some of the finest foods on this planet. Very few things taste better than box mac and cheese with cut up hot dogs. Me slowly realizing I grew up poor. Dinosaur chicken nuggets. I will be eating these until I'm dead in the grave. My great grandmother ran a boarding house during the depression. Hobos that rode the trains knew if they needed a meal to go to the back fence. She fed them hobo sandwiches which were whatever she had left. Homemade bread slices toasted in the skillet with a fried egg, slice of cheese, pat of butter, leftover slice of roast or ham or sausage or brisket. Whatever she had, she shared. There was a mark on her back gate post that said a nice lady here will feed you. In my country we don't have ramen so spaghetti. Edit. I'm from Turkey. Hummus sandwich. My mom's lentils and rice. Smothered in caramelized onions. Bread and water can easily become tea and toast. Read that in a fortune cookie once like 20 years ago, when I was down and out. Changed my life forever. Garlic bread toast. My mom always made toast with margarine and garlic salt with spaghetti. No sense in wasting money on garlic bread. It was so good, and I know I should not use garlic salt, but I still do. Baked beans. Brown bread and hot dogs bun cut through the top like it should be. I remember one day in college, I went to the dining hall with some friends who grew up with a little too much money. They were very disappointed that they were serving hot dogs and beans and complained bitterly about having to eat peasant food and these were 100% beef. 10 inch jumbo hot dogs mind you, so I felt kinda bad. But just then it the dining manager came by. It was the nicest guy, always checking up on people with his strong accent from the North show. He asked how we were liking the meal. And I piped up. Well, I like it. But it's missing the brown bread. At this his eyes lit up that was his favorite meal too. We started talking about growing up with the meal. Trying to coax the bread out of those tall B&M cans. Whether one should steam or boil a hot dog. And generally having a great time. The rest of the table just sat there. They didn't even eat. Their loss though. Those were some quality hot dogs. Spaghetti with ketchup. I first boiled the pasta, then onto a quite hot pan with melted butter, and then on with ketchup. Mix it up well, and don't be afraid of getting some ketchup caramelized on the pasta. The not so poor version can include several spices and meat bacon, sausage, etc. When does single burger with baked potato? With lots of butter. Beans on toast, beats everything ever made. Still like hot dogs, but I'm a grown up now I put Campbell's chili, green onions, and cheddar cheese on them. I still eat mac and cheese also with cheddar noodles and eggs with leftover beef or chicken. PB and J. R-I-C-E. Cup noodles mac hard any day. Craft dinner with hot dogs cut up in it. Dollar store ramen is my ultimate go to it's super comforting for me to eat nowadays even I'm basic and only add chili powder to mine. 
chips on a shingle. Cheap hamburger meat toast, rice or noodles and beef gravy was another one of my favorites. Last but not least just grilled cheese and tomato soup made with water not milk. Or if we were lucky we would have some of that boxed milk slash powdered milk. Whatever bread I can get my hands on and balsamic vine gar. Used to be a way to use up a stale loaf, since soaking the bread would make it edible again. Now I bake my own, and it makes me happy. Dice a couple potatoes, slice a zucchini or any squash, and a kielbasa into rings. Throw it all into a big pan, season if you can, or feel like it with garlic, onion powder, salt, pepper, rosemary slash thyme etc. Anything you have and want to try really, cover and cook until the potatoes are soft. I grew up eating this with ketchup, I'm trying to do less of that as an adult, but it's easy, quick, cheap, minimal dishes, and tasty. Spicy ramen for this boy. The only difference in my eating habits now I'm more financially stable is how many extra packets I have in my cupboard. 